Hi guys, good morning. Just out here playing in traffic. It's all. Damn. This is an enormous job. So, they had a flight out of here this morning. I was really hoping to get here to see it. I was hoping it would be about 15, 20 minutes late, but it wasn't. I just would have had, it would have taken me two hours if I'd have left. I just wasn't up for it this morning. Um, so there's really not much going on over at the White House, uh, except they're giving tours. There's a really, really long line. There have been very, very long lines um, giving tours. So I figured I'd come over here and we'd get an update. You know, just what they're doing over here. And they have started uh, some more work over um, at the actual Federal Reserve Building, one of the Federal Reserve Buildings, the Eccles Building right over there. And we'll go over there and take a peek, see what we can see over there. But uh, this is one of the Department of uh, Interior Buildings, and we've looked at this, but I just want to come and see how far they've come. Let's, let's play in traffic here for a minute. Go up here and look. So last time we came here, remember I got to speak with one of the guys. He said they were like building a building over this building and they were putting, um, supposedly putting like a five story parking thing under, oh good gosh, Kelly's playing with trucks. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, good grief. I don't mind playing with the cars, even the SUVs, but the trucks, I get a little nervous. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Play Frogger, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Good golly, look. Wow. So that's the other Fed Reserve building right over there. That's where the uh, Board of Governors offices are. They've already redone that building. So, wow, huh? Nice. Wow. You know? Trump did say they were going to tear down some ugly buildings and put some new ones up. And they're not necessarily tearing it down, but... They sure are tearing it apart, aren't they? All right, so I'm trying to think which is the best way. Let's just go back this way. What the hell? So I don't know if you guys saw it or not um, that I did take the Gitmo post down, and I'll tell you that I made a huge mistake with that. So Linda wound up calling me last night and was like, oh, gosh, I think you misunderstood our conversation the other night um, and telling me that, you know, that yes, we could actually go, but there is a process that we still need to go through to go to Gitmo itself. And I was like, oh gosh, shit. She's like, you know, do you take, can you please take the post down immediately? And I was like, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I did. And, and right away, I let everybody know about the mistake that I made. And I, you know, I am the first one. I will always be the first one to step up um, and say when I've made a mistake. And I did. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say was I found it kind of sad because, you know, there were people supposedly on the same team that did not want me to have that opportunity. Uh, they did not want me to have that opportunity. And, you know, I kind of felt that was really sad because I don't think I'm anything special or anything, but I've worked my ass off. I've worked my ass off. I've been here in the rain, the snow, you guys have seen it. I've gone home and had to wring my bra out of sweat more times than I care to admit. You know, I've dedicated, what, two and a half years to coming here, driving an hour hour and 15 minutes, some hour, two hour drives. I think I've earned that. And hello, honey, how are you? I'm good. Well, thank you for that compliment. <laughs> I think he likes what he sees. <laughs> oh, she is good grief. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. 
Okay. Um, you know, uh, and to be quite honest with you, like, I do. I feel like I've earned that. But I also feel like there are other people uh, that have earned that, that too. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but I feel like there are a few other people that have earned that too. And, and I would love to see them get that opportunity. Uh, you know, just not these media companies getting the opportunity, but, you know, citizen journalists that have, you know, put their hearts and their everything into doing this. And I would love to see them too. And the thing is, is that if they get the opportunity and I don't, I am going to clap like hell for them. I'm going to clap like hell for them. And that's what we all should be doing for each other. You know, but um, that's all about that. But I did. I made an enormous mistake. I misunderstood. And I, I take responsibility for that. That's what people with integrity do. So can I just peek in there? I'm just looking at the work. Yeah, thank you. So they started over there as well. I don't think we can see anything behind the wall if I keep going further, but this city has seen enormous construction. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Have a good day, honey. Let's see if we can see anything down here. Yeah, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, that if you didn't see the post, that maybe you would see this video and, and hear that. Kelly Brady was wrong. But apparently... We're going to go through that process. So, clap for me, please. <laughs> and if I don't go, I'm good with that. Because let me tell you, I've had an amazing experience here. And I, I have wonderful memories, good and bad, but they're all wonderful. So... <clears throat> Not too many people can say that they've seen the things I've seen. Well, you guys can because you saw it with me, right? But a little bit different. <laughs> We're all on the same team. Root for those good-hearted people out there. You know these vendors? There's like vendors everywhere here. Everywhere here. And you know it's 95% of them have 95% of their merchandise is all Trump stuff and MAGA stuff. They're not stupid. <laughs> they don't have, you know, a lot of Biden stuff. <laughs> very, very little. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is one of the actual Federal Reserve buildings. So, let's see down here. I don't know if... Any of the street closed or just... Oh, okay.
my goodness. <laughs> Just do me a favor, just don't stand I, in the, I don't Yeah, I'm just being here for one minute. Good, Thank good. you, babe. Good. Thank you. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it's definitely different here, the air quality. Uh, we can see some blue skies, some sun. I didn't walk out of my, woke up at five this morning, went out on the balcony, and I did not smell what smelled like burning electric. Who knows what's up with all of that? Wow. All right. Well, oh my goodness. It's a lot. Uh, all right. Wow, you see underneath there? Huh. Enormous, enormous jobs. Okay. Gonna look at the look there on the uh, on the window. See the helmet. All kinds of symbolism in this the city. I mean, it's just nothing but Roman everywhere, everywhere, and naked statues. Naked statues everywhere. You know, if you want to teach your kids about the anatomy of the human body, you bring them to D.C. Because there would be, like, penises and boobs in their faces all day, everywhere. This is the best place. <laughs> Which is kind of sad to me, but, you know. That's what it's like here. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut down. I'm going to take another tour through. Uh, the, the Capitol is really quiet when I came in. I'm going to go back over there and check things out. Just check things out. If you don't see me, I'm just getting out of here today because the flight, um, the flight's not coming back until about 9.30 tonight, I think. So there's just going to be nothing else going on here. Uh, so I love you guys and I will see you later.